Hi, coach. This is your first match in the Champions League as a coach. Um, so uh, how are you feeling? Um, what's your approach to this game, your motivation, um, your preparation, etc.? Because, sorry, don't change nothing because every game is, a, I prepare every game is the same way. Of course, I see that the players are focused, they are motivated. This is for me most important, you know, because Champions League is the best best competition award, and every 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 player want to play. So I saw the players focused, concentrated, uh, because in the end is 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 tomorrow is a football game, it's a football game, and we come here to make our our best we can do in this moment. And so do I. I'm I'm thinking the same way. Of course, it's nice because maybe your family is calling you or some friends. I mean, we watch you. There is a. It's nice to be part of this. This thing, but in the end, is all is only football game. Jean Claude. Well, aussi un match. Well, there's a match within the match because Antonio Conte is going to be on the the manager at Tottenham. Um, he um, played with you at Juventus. He spoke very highly of you today. Can you say anything about your relationship with him? Um, did you believe at the time that you'd both end up as uh, coaches? And what impression does it have on you, you know, finding him tomorrow on the other side of the pitch? Antonio, I know him as a, um, as a human being, as a, as a, as a, as a person. Uh, when I come there in, in Juventus, I had only 20 years old, and I, I find the, the dressing room with the players like, like, like him, like Ferrara, like, uh, like Montero, like... Uh, Del Piero, the, the players who has a value not not only as a, as a player but as a as a person. So in that time, and he and one of the guys who was a, always example for for all players was, was Antonio, not just by by speaking, by 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 his behavior. Because in the end, the, the best way to educate is is behave, behave in the right way. And then after, I had him also as a. As assistant coach, when I after go to play into Siena, he was assistant coach there me for one year, and uh, and after when I start to be coach, when I start to to trying to be the, the coach, I I was there in Juventus when he was first time there, was there, you know, and he permit me to to see all the trainings one week, and and and, and, and I learned a lot from him there, and and now he's one of the best in the world. And, and tomorrow, of course, the coaches are there, but in the, in the end, I think always always decide the players, and they are they are, they are the protagonists, and they are the guys who, who in the end need, 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 need to decide the games. Yes, please. Hello, Igor. Um, you you have um, three, well, you have four former Arsenal players um, in your squad, and three can play tomorrow night. Is there extra motivation, extra spice for those players? And can you tell us anything individually about how they've been playing this season? Tavares, Guendouzi, uh, Kolesinac. Mm, I, I, I saw that they, are, they, are, they, they feel this thing also as, as something particular, yes. They are... They all start very good. We just made the six games, and they were uh, really good, really good. And, and I'm happy to have them in the team, and they will make uh, they will be important to all season because they have so plenty of quality. All of them. Uh, last game, uh, Sead, Sead, who, who who didn't play too much, he was uh, best in the pitch. Uh, Nuno is start fantastic, and Matteo, we know his his quality. Karim. Buonasera, mister. On est au milieu du. Well, we're in the middle of this marathon. You're going to have seven matches in three weeks, if I'm not very much mistaken. You've um, changed quite a few players. Um, the results have been still been pretty good. You had um, seven um, new players in your starting lineup in the last game compared to the previous game. Do you think that your group of players is um, well balanced and um, that they're in good physical shape more than anything else? Are they in good physical shape? And um, perhaps players who weren't in the uh, first starting eleven are now ahead of other players for the next game because they played well when they did get selected. 
the group is good and there, there is no only 11 players as I, as I said in the start especially now in when a lot of the games it's, it's important to have a to have the 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 the, 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 the almost same quality players because if I say that everybody is same, that's not true. Everybody know, but very similar, yes. So the the, the key is that that one because uh, in the end, if you don't have a group of I don't know 16, 17 players who can who can play in every moment, it's very difficult to to go uh, in this modern football where is uh, where we where we play every three days. It's very difficult to go to go forward. So. I'm happy that we work good uh, this summer and, and, and we made a group uh, who permit us to do this. Jean-François. Bonsoir, coach. Uh, une question un petit peu personnelle. I've got a personal question for you just before the match. Um, you came to Marseille under particular circumstances. Um, you weren't well known in France. There was a bit of whistling and booing at the first game at um, the Velodrome. Uh, in your first game. But how do you feel now? You've been here for a few weeks. Um, you're better able to cope and manage the environment. Do you understand Marseille a bit better and the supporters? And do you think that you're now a better place to convey your message to the players? You know, um, can you just take stock of the last four or five weeks since you've been here? But it's the same like I asked for last time, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always focusing on my work, you know, so I, I will be hypocrite if I said, you know, that nobody likes these things and of course it's better when they are not, you know, but uh, in the end the coach need to, to, to be cold on these things, you know, need to be focused on the work and uh, I understand that, 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 that there is, a, you know, this this kind of, of, of club who are who are very warm, very very you know sensible about everything, of course, and and particular. And I'm coming from the same city. I'm born in in Croatia, and a city which is very similar, like Marseille. So I I had let's say more more understanding for these things, you know. And okay. I respect I respect everybody you know in the in the in, the, in that way but uh, the coach coach need to be uh, cold 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 mind you know to, to be focused always on the team and and, and 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 that's the key you know because then you transmit transmit on the players you know this thing and that's not good you know because in the end uh, the players the players are the key and they, they see that the coach is losing energy of other things is is, is not good message Bruno, s'il te plaît. Bonsoir, coach. Uh, Good evening, coach. Um, we spoke about Antonio Conte a while ago. Now, his um, game philosophy is very similar to yours. I think from a tactical point of view, you both play quite similarly. Do you think it'll be a very tactical game tomorrow, far more than in League 1, perhaps? Tactical game, you know... Because there are there are two coaches who, I mean, they have system, they have their style. So everything is tactical, and and the end, nothing is tactical because the players need to to interpret this. Of course, it's important how big is the, is is the quality of the coach to transmit his idea. You know, this is this is important, but but uh, of course, in the end, what I said before, there are the players who who decide who. When the ball comes there, they, they decide to play left and right, shoot or no, and uh, and, and, and the football is, is is very complicated. You know, sometimes sometimes we we uh, we think that you know we overestimated the coaches also in the end. You know, because it's 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 uh, because it's a part of the football of this this media also things that you know. Sometimes you know it's it's nice to discuss because the football is so popular that, that, that the people like to speak about this. So it's 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 a one nice argument, you know. Also to this, what coaches need to do, you know. Everybody like to even even me when I'm with a friend, I said, uh, Luis Guardiola, why he put this one or this one, you know, <laughs> because this is a, like a, this is this this kind of sport, sport, yes. But in the end, you know, the players the players are those who are who are uh, the key. Florent. Oui, coach, bonjour. Hi. 
we spoke to Dimitri Payet about this. Um, Alexia Sanchez um, won't be able to play tomorrow, unfortunately, which is a blow for you in a big game. So what solutions do you have? Um, Luis Suarez, perhaps? Um, but do you think Luis Suarez um, is already up to playing in such a high-quality game in Europe? Or will you be a little bit more cautious and perhaps not play him in the starting lineup tomorrow? So, but if you don't play Suarez, who else could you play? There's uh, Dimitri uh, Under. Um, what do you think about that? You know, how do you feel about him not being available? I mean, not tell you the team, but we have a plenty solution there. Not even the stars, the star, but also with five changes, as I said a lot of the time, the football is changed. Five changes now really can change the game. You know, you, you change three for three, three strikers for three strikers, and then it's totally, totally new attack. So the game is, is what I saw more and more deciding by, by changing, decide by last last 20 minutes, like 30 minutes or, you know. So I'm, I'm happy that I have a lot of solution, even Alexis tomorrow not playing, of course, he, we are not happy for this, but I think uh, we will have a good 11 there. Uh, 